Wowzers, people. It is a delight to bring you to this fantastic villa. It really is something else. The whole property brims with quality. Even the garden areas, which even has its own duck pond. I suppose it keeps the ducks and other wild birds out of the swimming pool. As you can see, the lawned terraces which lead up to the swimming pool are a delight. The owner was telling me earlier that the property has its own borehole and the entire garden has automatic irrigation systems in place, which is why it looks more like an English country garden than a villa in central Portugal. So we continue up and you can see the swimming pool and behind that the main house. The boundary runs up the side of the drive and on the other side you can clearly see a wall. To the rear of the property there is a parking area. It's a lovely big long drive and I'm going to tell you a little bit about where you are. It is 18 minutes to the World Heritage Site, that is Tamar, which has a plethora of delights, including the Convento de Cristo, also known as Tomar Castle. It is just one hour and 20 minutes to Lisbon Airport, about one hour to the seaside, but only two minutes to Paradise. So where is Paradise, I hear you ask? Castella de Bod is a picturesque reservoir located two minutes away from this villa in central Portugal, renowned for its stunning natural beauty and recreational opportunities set against a backdrop of lush hills and woodlands. This reservoir was formed by damming the river Zazer and covers a considerable area making it a popular destination for both locals and tourists. The reservoir offers a wide range of activities to cater to various interests. Water enthusiasts can enjoy boating, kayak and fishing in its expansive waters. Their tranquil environment and serene surroundings make it an ideal spot for leisure boat rides, picnics by the water's edge and capturing breathtaking sunset views. For those seeking more Active pursuits, Castella de Bod's surrounding landscape provides ample opportunities for hiking and nature exploration. Trails wind through forests and along the river reservoir shoreline, offering a chance to immerse yourself in the region's diverse flora and fauna. The reservoir also presents itself as a paradise for anglers, as its waters are teeming with a variety of fish species. Fishing enthusiasts can try their luck at catching widemouth bass, carp and pike, among others. In addition to its outdoor activities, Castella de Bod is surrounded by charming villages and towns that showcase traditional Portuguese culture and architecture. Visitors can explore local markets, enjoy regional cuisine and interact with the friendly communities that call this area home. Overall, Castella de Bod offers a blend of natural beauty and recreational possibilities, making it an inviting destination for anyone seeking relaxation or adventure and a deeper connection with the Portuguese countryside. So now we're going to fly down and once again Sarah is going to take us for a detailed look around this fantastic villa. Hello everybody, here we are today with an absolutely luxurious property for you. We are located not far from the town of Serra, watch your foot, um, which is in between Ferreira de Cesare and Tamar. This property has absolutely everything that you're going to need. The spaces are amazing, the build quality is luxurious. The gardens, as you can see around you, are very well maintained. There's automatic watering systems everywhere. We have a pond here, which also serves, you can actually see, now I'm not going to be able to tell you what animal that is. It is a bird, <laughs> a large one. Could you see it? Yeah. yeah. So there's a, an area, that house there is for the animals, which obviously get to use the pool. The whole area 
the pond, trees, darling, the yeah, pond. the pond. Okay, the pool for swimming is up near the top of the house. <laughs> the whole area is well planted. Everything's very established. It's very neat and very well ma maintained. We have, as you can see, it's also low maintenance. So. Here you can see that the lawns, because the property is on an incline, we have the terrace is set, it's just set with grass, automatic watering systems in place, so very little work here, but I mean I'm just walking past an outside tap, and down here, this would be the entrance that goes down to the bottom lawn, and to the pond, as you correctly say, with the very enchanting swing there, you can see the drive where we've just walked up. Now the wall, this is your boundary wall, goes into the neighbour's property on the other side, but the house is set far up and back. This building down here, is a workshop and basically a shed. It's for equipment, for gardening, so it's storage. You can see we have young olive trees in front of you. And as we carry on up the driveway, now, if you were driving in, you'd drive round the back of the property where you'd park and walk into the kitchen with your shopping and what have you. But what we're going to do is, oh, look at those views. It's very, very nice, really well maintained and quiet. It's very quiet. And I, I've forgotten to mention a rather important fact is that, we're, there's, that we can see the Castel de Bois, the dam from here. But I'll get, we'll get to that bit shortly. So, you can enter from the bottom level, but we're going to go up the stairs. Probably going to give you a glimpse of the swimming pool first. Seeing as we are looking at the pool at the moment, I'm going to mention something else. If you pan to the left a little bit, if you don't mind, we've just walked past it, but there's a black area there. That's the overflow. So there's an automatic system that when there's a lot of people in the pool, obviously water comes out of it and it then automatically goes into these tanks and gets filtered back in. Oh, cool. So everything's very well set out. Also, something I wanted to mention here that, well, Paul's actually going to lean on it. There we have, we have a spa, a hot tub in the corner. But what Paul was leaning on, and I'm now wanting to show you, because it's the fact that you obviously have security gates. Okay, that's cool. Here. Yeah. So, you know, that can be locked. There's children in the house. That can be locked. So, we're going to go up and in through the top floor. But while we're here, yes, there's a plum tree I think you've got there in the shot. But let's... Um, what we, um, I'm not getting on that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Not with these heels, no. I don't know what I was thinking of. Right. So, you're not following me up the, up the stairs either. <laughs> or are you? No. <laughs> Go on. I'll spare your blushes. <laughs> so nice terracotta. Walls made of terracotta tiles with the patterns in it. Terracotta steps. And this front, oh yes, we might as well get in the view, haven't we? So the terrace comes all the way around the property and joins to the kitchen, but we're going to go in through the front door here. We can come back out to that afterwards. But you may as well take in the full view of the property that you have here. Oh. There's your first glimpse of the dam. Can you see it? Yeah, the lake. Now you've got it. Yeah? Yeah. Shall we start with the inside then? Yes. Okay.
And having just come up the steps, shown you the top terrace. Because there's three different ways into the property. So we're coming in here on the upper level. And on the first room that you come into is the lounge. All the spaces are very large. Now, you've just probably just seen the terrace where we were a minute ago. Lots of light coming in. Then as you follow round from here, you have the view, that window there with the dam in the distance. The decorations really, well, it's different. It's nice to see something different. I'm not a fan of white walls. Okay, let's keep coming round. So again, you have sort of two separate areas in the lounge, large spaces. And you can see the double doors there with the steps going down. So that goes to the rear of the property where you drive round and park your cars. But as we carry on round, back through the doors. Now, something that I think is worth mentioning is both the lounge and the kitchen can be shut off. I haven't got that quite right, but it's going to, definitely going to. I don't want to get it wrong but you can just separate the areas should you wish so Paul if you go around and then to the left into the large kitchen diner which is really spectacular excellent sense of style I mean everything's personal taste but I think this comes into most people's personal taste Large area, we've got the big kitchen with the breakfast bar, plus a separate eight-seater dining table. Black and yellow, large extractor fan. We have space under this central island. We've got a wine cooler. We have, I have to admit, I did not... Open the drawers. Okay, so, oh, the drawers are lit up as features go. So I open the drawer. Do you want to get that? That's the first, I think this is the first in the house. Look at that. Lights come on. Posh. That is posh. That is posh. Soft clothes, of course, because the gentleman that builds this house has built a few, and he knows how to do it. Induction hob on the top here, plus two gas rings. Huge extractor fan, so you don't have any nasty cooking smells. Lots and lots of storage. I'm not going to go through everybody's cupboards. I think we can believe that there's tons of storage. Double fridges. And then just lots and lots of storage. Dishwashers installed in the middle of it all. We've got two ovens at the end there. Everything will be the best quality. It'd just be fun to cook and entertain in here, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, that's exactly what yeah. it's designed for, isn't it? So, again, going out into the corridor and we're turning left. And Paul's going to get you straight. Just don't kick the doors open. Okay. That was obviously a funny face from me there. I tried to stop it banging against the wall. So we have here, so this is the end of the hallway, large shower, wash basin, WC, large heated towel rail behind me, plus air conditioning. So all the rooms have air conditioning, which can be hot or cold. Now, there Not are... Many mirrors in this house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you trying to stay out the mirror? Right, yeah, well, I'm not sure how you're going to do that. Very unsuccessful. <laughs> okay. Well, this room replicates the next one. There you have Paul. Might be wishing you were something else. <laughs> Looking fabulous, dear. It's the hat. They always remember the hat. Okay. So, 
All the rooms, the, this room is virtually exact replica of the next one. So you're going to have to get in those mirrors again. This one has office desk in it. The house is used with four... <laughs> he's checking the mirrors. It's used <laughs> with four bedrooms, but one of the rooms downstairs is a double bedroom. They just don't use it as a double bedroom. When you see the bedrooms downstairs, you're going to think these are nothing, but these are really good-sized rooms. Plenty of storage, lots of light. Okay. Now... I've mentioned the air conditioning. Something I've forgotten is in the lounge where they have the fireplace, which it might be worth you just peeking at before we go down the stairs. Oh, yes, it's here. You have the air vents. So there's the vents above and the side, but also at the end of the hallway... And also there is a heat pump in this property. So it has both... The, now I'm falling over. Now it has both the vents from the fireplace, if you want the fire lit in the, in the winter, but it has a heat pump, and I've missed that out in the bedrooms. You've got the filter systems up in the air. Okay, so let's go downstairs to the truly, truly luxurious bedrooms down there. So he's going to fall down first. Me, you, marvellous option. <laughs> Lovely light. I know it's just it's just the decor, but shall I go through? No, is the shit head. <laughs> Do not go there. Okay, I will follow Paul like a good girl. And we, now I put the lights on, I know. So, luxury bedroom one. I should have done this before, clearly, because now I'm just faffing about. I know, but I'm going to leave that. I'll get out of the way. Enormous room. Enormous room. Triple windows out to the balcony at the front. <laughs> Huge TV screen. You can see the air con. And into the bathroom. You see why I would think this was the luxury room? Yeah. So this is a spa bath. Heated towel rail, nice lighting. It's also got the shower, as you can see. Oh, Everything's it's excellent. It's got Star Trek showers, isn't it? Yeah, so you really want one of those, don't you? I do now. Yeah, yeah. maybe next time, darling. I love that. I love my shower. I know I hate it. <laughs> right, let's not get into that. Right. So, now, out the door. <laughs> Again, huge wardrobe with the mirrors, which Paul keeps trying not to get in. And turn left. We've just walked past, but we don't have to come back to it. It's just an under-the-stairs yeah, storage yeah, room. Yeah. Now, mm, what do we do? Left. We go left, okay. So this is... This is just, just used as the owner's sewing room. Ironing room. Ironing room. Well, there's another one next door. Yeah, I know. So, there, yeah, there's plenty of space. There's also another room behind here, which we're not going to go into, um, which has is double bedroom. There's, you can get a double bed in there. Right, okay. Okay. So coming on out of here, but at this, this is our crafting and sewing room. And here is where we have the proper utility room. And there you can see the heat pump in the corner. And this has all your machines, the washing machines, dryer. On Well, they're just on the floor by Paul at the moment. There's a sink in the middle there. Plenty of storage. Fantastic large utility room. So we're saving the best for last, aren't we? Oh, stop, stop. I want to shut the doors. into a forest. Okay, come on in and turn right. Oh, how's the light going to cope with that? We're not sure. 
I'm not sure I was coping with all of it. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, it's amazing. Really, really very nice. So this is the proper luxury room. You have your own lounge. You have your triple doors out onto the veranda looking over the pond, not the pool. And enough space for enormous television. But now I want to show you the other parts. Come on, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let me do it. Okay, Wes. We were discussing the difference between a closet, a wardrobe, and a dressing room. I was trying to explain the differences. This is definitely a dressing room. Very well organised. We're a bit jealous. So if you can't go around the corner. Mm -hmm. Don't fall over. Okay. So just to show you, there's enormous space. So of course, this is your master, master bedroom. And then as we come in, well, four. We've got the same sort of frosted glass doors everywhere. And here we have the master, master bathroom. So this isn't just a spa, we have spa jacuzzi. Plus, as Paul lovingly described it, Star Wars shower. I'm not sure that's the correct terminology, but anyway, it's probably going to stay with us now. Lovely. I mean, just look at the wash basin. That's a metre and a half. So there's nothing that's forgotten, really, in this property. So as I said, we've got four existing functioning double bedrooms, but another one of the ones down here easily is a double room. Just they don't need it. So it's used as a showing, oh, sewing, crafting room. So from here, we probably need to go back up to the kitchen, onto the veranda, and out the back. As I said, coming back out through the kitchen, onto this terrace here, with a very pretty cat. I'm not sure how much a cat likes me, but there we go. So there's terraces everywhere. And this area here, oh yes, you better get in the view, hadn't you? Don't fall in the dog bowl. So the area underneath you and to the right actually is, there's a barbecue area there, there's storage, there's an area where they have their author, so there's a vegetable garden, it's all hidden sort of down there. Then the floor all around the property it's not calcite, there's, there's sort of, oh, what, what do you call this? Well, it's stone, well, isn't stone, it? Yeah, stone, yeah. Stone paving, let's call it. Have I just made that up? No. Yes, no. So all the borders, oh, well, there's watering just been going on. All the borders have established plants in them. Then we have the rocks, which just keeps it low maintenance. And there's cover here for two cars, but obviously plenty of parking for more. Yeah, and then you're getting a good view of the back of the property. And maybe we should walk back round to the front so you've really got an idea to try and try and get it to flow, yeah? Give people, sometimes it's a little bit confusing for people to see the actual flow of the house. We're trying to get there. Oh yeah, you can see, you can see straight down the drive right there. It brings it all back in together. And there's nothing really forgotten because this house was built by a constructor. He, he lives, it's his home. So all the details are in. I'm just looking at the drainage as I walk down. And here we have the main house, the pool's hidden. 